Hello everyone, my name is Nuvela and welcome to another video. Today we're building a music disc farm. It works on both Java and Bedrock Edition and the material list can be found in the description below. There is a very specific mechanic in Minecraft which we're going to exploit in this farm. Because when a skeleton kills a creeper there is a 100% chance that it will drop a music disc. Some music discs can only be gathered throughout exploring. For example, when you go to dungeons with monster spawners, you will be able to find Cat and 13. When you're using your archaeology brush, you can find the music disc Relic. When traveling to ancient cities, you can find disc fragments which can be combined into the music disc 5. In strongholds, for example, or in mine shafts, you can find the music disc Other Side. And finally, in Piglin Bastions in the Nether, you can find the music disc Big Step. These music discs cannot be farmed through using this farm, with the exception of 13 and Cat, which can also be dropped by creepers when killed by a skeleton. On screen you can now see all of the music discs that you can gather using this farm. Now let me quickly show you how this works and then I will show you how to build it. As mentioned, we are exploiting the mechanic of a skeleton killing a creeper. In the middle of the tree, we have a captured skeleton with a name tag so that it doesn't despawn. Now at night time, mobs will spawn and you can gather some creepers in these holding cells out here. Now let me get myself out of here. But when we stand on top of this slab right here, the skeleton has a line of sight with us and it will try to fire arrows but the creeper which is in between us will get hit by those arrows and die. When the creeper dies it drops a music disc. That's it. So now let me show you how to build this. Here you can see the layout of the build. We are going to start off by placing four oak logs in these locations with pistons in between them on these locations. Place down a cobblestone in the middle with a stone pressure plate on top. Now when you move towards the middle, each of the pistons should move up. You can then place pillars of oak wood on each of the corners, three blocks high, and connect them on top. Now it's time to place four sticky pistons facing downwards on top of each of the entryways. We are going to use these sticky pistons to push down the oak logs one level in front of the eyes of the skeleton so that it won't be able to see you so that it won't shoot arrows at you when you're operating the farm. Let me showcase how this works by placing down some oak logs on top of the sticky pistons attach a lever to it and then place some redstone on top and now when we pull the lever as you can see all of the oak logs move down one level as the sticky pistons extend. When you pull the lever again sticky pistons retract and you should have eyesight to the skeleton which we are going to place in the middle. You can surround the sticky pistons with oak logs like this. Now later on during the build I noticed that it is much easier if you can operate each side individually. So I exchanged this system by removing the redstone on top and attach the lever on the front oak log in front of the entryway. Now it's possible to operate each side individually. You can either choose to operate all of the entryways in one go or each one individually. It's up to you. After that we are going to make the base of the tree a little bit sturdier by placing down oak wood along the entryways, place down stairways up to the piston, place a second oak log on top of the first one, and finish it off by placing slabs on top of these oak logs. On each of the corners you could, you don't have to, but you could place a jukebox where you can play the music discs that you gather from the farm. You can place a slab on top to make it look a little bit sturdier. The middle of the farm is now 
pretty much done. So it's time to get a skeleton in there. Grab yourself a name tag and give it a name that suits whatever you like. You might want to light up the middle by for example placing a lantern right here. Now comes the tricky part and that's to survive the night and get a skeleton in the middle. Yes, come on, let's go. Yes, finally. It took me the entire in-game night and I almost got blown up by a creeper, but I got him. Don't forget to put the name tag on and pull down the lever to make sure that you don't have a line of sight to the skeleton whilst working on the rest of the farm. And next up are the holding cells for the creepers. Start by placing a cobblestone block in the middle surrounded by four pistons. In each of the corners you can place pillars of oak wood, two blocks high, with a spruce slab on top. Place spruce stairs next to the pistons up to the platform. And place a stone pressure plate on top of the cobblestone. That's the first holding cell done. And now when a creeper walks onto this platform and triggers the pressure plate, it will get stuck. But before it works, we need a roof because now it can just walk out. First, repeat this three more times around the tree. Next, you want to place some spruce slabs on the third block away from this platform to indicate the spot where you need to stand when the skeleton is trying to hit you. If you want to add some more detail to the tree, you can replace some of the oak by stripped spruce wood. This is optional. It's now time to work on the tree trunk. Place two more levels of oak wood on top of the oak wood that's on top of the farm right now. And place down upside down spruce stairs on these locations. On top of those upside down spruce stairs, you can place another layer of oak wood. And then place an upside down spruce stair right here, with three more oak wood on top. Do this on all four sides. We're now going to create four branches by moving outwards using spruce stairs upside down and oak logs. Now you don't have to do this exactly the same as I'm doing just showing you a way to do it, not the way to do it. Repeat this on all sides. And again, it doesn't need to look symmetrical, but it does help in creating the roof on top of the holding cells for the creepers later on. Now what we are going to do is use a mix of oak leaves, birch leaves, spruce leaves, and flowering azalea leaves to fill in the gaps in between the branches. This is a very time consuming thing, but in the end, it will look very good. So take your time and fill in the entire tree using these leaves. I like to fill in the spaces between the branches first and make a ring around the tree. I then light it up in the middle slightly, in this case using a couple of shroom lights, but feel free to use torches. And then I build my way up towards the middle using the four different types of leaves. This now looks more like a mushroom, so to make it look more like a tree, I tend to make the leaves on the side hang down a little bit, just like this. When you're done with the tree, 
and as mentioned this will take a while, it's time for the final steps. I like to create a party tree and how I do this is by using a bunch of colored glass and end rods coming out of the tree to give it a more festive look. On top of the holding cells for the creepers we're actually creating a roof with this colored glass by placing a cross of colored glass across the platform like this. Now when a creeper walks onto it, it won't be able to escape. You want to create a cross like this on top of each holding cell. And it needs to be two blocks above the pressure plate so that the creeper cannot jump out, but it can walk in, if you know what I mean. Once you've made a cross shape like this on top of each of the holding cells, your farm is actually functional. So you could get creepers in here now and start gathering music discs. We can make it look a little bit more festive though, using all kinds of colored glass and end rods, placing these randomly around the tree. Don't hold back. There we go. Now doesn't that look good? You can also do this on the top of the tree. However, this of course serves no function, so if you don't like to do this, you can skip this step. The only thing I like to do is create a little bit of a floor out of coarse dirt, mossy cobblestone and dirt path. It always looks a little bit nicer when you put some leaves around and you can use some bone meal to create some grass. But I highly recommend breaking the tall grass blocks because these block your vision and maybe a creeper creeps up on you and explodes and destroys a part of your farm. Your farm is now done, so all you gotta do is trap some creepers in here during nighttime. And I highly recommend building this in a plains biome because you will have lots of area to see and gather your creepers from a pretty big area. Do note, creepers blow up, so it can get a little bit tricky sometimes and make sure that you stay away of the creepers at least a couple of blocks. You want to stay in the area during the night, especially if you have a couple of creepers trapped in here, because they will despawn when you get away too far. Once you're ready to gather your music discs, just open up the hatch towards the skeleton, stand on top of the slab, and the skeleton will start firing arrows at you. However, it will hit the creeper instead, and after a couple of hits, it dies, dropping a music disc. There we go, we got stall this time. Let's put it in the jukebox. There you go, sweet jazzy sounds. Anyway, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and leave a comment if you have any questions and stick around, consider subscribing. World downloads are available for YouTube members and we have a free Discord server that you can join via the description below as well. I hope to see you in the next video and have a great day. Cheers!